Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can make this effect in Adobe Photoshop. So let's jump right into it. I'm going to use this image I got from pexels.com. Um, I always get my images from there. This is not sponsored. I just really like them. So just open up Photoshop. I want my subject not to be cut. So I'm just going to quickly extend this background by using the rectangular marquee tool and then I'm just going to right click and content over fill. I don't really mind it being ugly and not perfect like this because we're going to go and blur it later so you're not even going to tell. So press OK then command D to deselect and we're going to reconvert this to a smart object. Now, um, first thing we're going to do is go to Filter, Blur, and add some Gaussian Blur. We're not going to add too much, maybe two. And let me resize this a little bit. Okay, perfect. We're then going to duplicate this layer, and you can do that by either right-clicking on your layer and clicking on Duplicate Layer. Otherwise, just Command J on Mac and Control J on PC. Otherwise, you can also just drag this layer onto the plus sign and it will create a copy for it. Next, you're going to go to Filter, Blur, Radial Blur. And you're going get, to get at a little bit of blur, maybe like five. And you're going to start getting this motion. Um, we're going to then duplicate again our layer. You can click on this little arrow, just double click on the radial blur, and we're going to add a little more for this, so maybe 25, and press OK. And as you can see, this is the effect it's starting to show. We're going to change the blending mode for the two top layers to something like screen, I think, like works pretty good here. And after that, I'm going to add a gradient map and I'm going to reverse it. So something like this. And we're going to change blending mode of that as well to whatever fits our image best. And I think that is soft light in this case, as you can, you can see a little bit of the color from the gradient map showing, but not too much. And that's what I like about it. We're then gonna select all the layers, right click and convert to smart object again. Now it's important to keep these layers as smart objects because it's a non-destructive way of working. So for example, if I wanted to change the blur number or the gradient map colors, I could just double click on the smart object and all my layers would pop up separately. And then just close this and you're back to here. So that's a pretty cool thing. I'm then going to add uh, some noise. So go to filter, noise, add noise. And I'm not going to add too much. I feel like that's too much. Maybe something like four. And lastly, we're going to add our text. I'm just going to write skate. And let's center it. I'm going to change this to a Helvetica bold and make it white. Now we want to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur and blur the text a little bit as well. Next, go to filter, distort, ripple. And we want the text to be a little rippled, kind of like this but not, not that much, so maybe 50% to get this effect. Finally, we're going to double click on our layer to have the layer style window pop up. So as you can see, if you slide this, it's going to have the text disappear depending on the lights and shadows. But what we want to do is separate this slider. So click Alt or Option key to separate them and slide this along and do the same thing on the other side and you can see you get this really cool effect 
that it's kind of see-through, kind of not showing the textures and all that stuff. And uh, yes, that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Feel free to follow me on Instagram. I'm posting daily designs on there and I've been posting for, I think, like 540 or 550 days straight. So it'll definitely mean a lot if you go give me a follow on there. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys love this video and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye!